It's from Blair Miller who asks, what does the co combination of Kansas City Southern with either Canadian Pacific or Canadian National mean to BNSF in terms of competition? And do you think the synergies of the merger will justify the multiple paid? Sure. So it's obviously a uh, transaction uh, we followed very closely with both Canadian National and Canadian Pacific uh, bidding to purchase Kansas City Southern. Uh, either of those companies acquiring Kansas City Southern will have an impact on BNSF. Uh, we, what they're basically proposing is to create a north-south railway that goes from Canada into Mexico. Uh, we do have a strong presence in Mexico, not as strong as, as some of our competition, but we would feel competition there. So uh, we'll follow that transaction very closely. Uh, as it goes before the Sa Surface Transportation Board, the, the standard that will be applied is that competition has to be protected or enhanced. So that's our opportunity to protect our, our franchise on behalf of our customers. So we, we move intermodal business both in and out of there on behalf of certain customers. We'll want to protect uh, the rights of our customers there. So we'll be active in, in the approval process, but there's no question in the end it impacts our franchise. Warren? Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's not huge, but uh, it affects both the Union Pacific and the NSF. To a small degree, a relatively small degree, and but that's that's not really the worry of the S Surface Transportation Board. Their job is to do what's best uh, for con for the the shippers, and and uh, uh, in terms of the price that's being paid, uh, you know, uh, like I say, when if you can borrow all the money at not for nothing, you know, <laughs> it really doesn't make much difference to people, and and. This would not be being paid under a different interest rate environment. I mean, it's very simple. Uh, but uh, it, it, it would make, uh, there's no magic to the Kansas City Southern. It's got a, I think their deal with Mexico ends in 2047. And that, uh, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, it, it will, uh, it, it, it's the number of, Carloads carry and everything. It's not going to change that much, uh, 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 but it, it is kind of interesting. There's only there's there's two major Canadian what they call Class One railroads, and there's there's five in the United States, and and uh, uh, this will result, you know, in essentially three of the units uh, being Canadian. Four being U.S., which is not the way you normally think of the way the development of the railroad system would, would work in the United States. But it's, you know, we've talked about it plenty. And, and uh, uh, CP or either Canadian Pacific or Canadian National is very likely to get I think the Surface Transportation Board vote, voted for it one, didn't they, the other day? Didn't get, right. am I correct they on voted, They voted on an initial trust structure that they had to approve for uh, Canadian Pacific, and that was a four-to-one vote, as you noted, Warren. So yeah. they're, they're moving forward with the evaluation of it. Yeah, and normally railroad deals are very long, take a long time for them to evaluate. But in this case, I think they have two, two opposing trust proposals. And in effect, uh, by making a, if they make a quick decision on the, which trust proposal that they allow, I don't, I don't say you allow two proposals exactly. So. It may be a very accelerated decision. I, I don't know, but uh, it's up to the Surface Transportation Board to do what's what's best for what their obligation is to the country to do. Mm -hmm. um, there was a follow-up question on that. Do you sure. think the valuation that they're paying is worth it? Well, I, we, in a very very mild way. I mean, everybody's contemplated kind of making deals with different railroads. You know, ever since I've been in the railroad business, <laughs> uh, so uh, you know, we, we've talked about it. We talked when CP, when 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 uh, uh, was Hunter Harrison or uh, you know came after him. Was it Hunter that did on CP that kind of led the way? And uh, uh, you know, we looked at buying CP. I mean, there, there, 
everybody looks at everything. And uh, uh, we would not pay this price. And it implies a price for BNSF that's even higher than what the UP is selling for. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of play money to some degree. I mean, when, when interest rates are this low, and, and I'm sure from the standpoint of both CP and CN, there's there's only one KC Southern. And they're not going to get a chance to expand. They're not going to buy us. They're not going to buy the UP. And and uh, the juices flow and, and uh, the prices go up. And, and they're and, buying with somebody else's money. Yeah, it's somebody else's money, and you're going to retire yeah. in five or ten years, and people are not going to remember what you pay, but they're going to remember whether you built a larger system, and and the investment bankers are cheering you on at every move. You know, they they're, they're saying you could pay more, and this is the you know they're moving the figures around, the spreadsheets are out, and the fees are flowing. 